Okay, so we're going to pick it up at this point here where we've basically reduced this to a, a 3 by 3 by 2 really. We just have these areas that we have to put in. Well, not exactly a 3 by 3 by 2, I guess maybe a 1, 2, 3, 4, a 5 by 5 by 2. But we want to place these over here and I'm going to do that much the same way that I would do with any cube that just has two uh, layers that, uh, um, that we have to deal with. So let's just start putting, putting layers in here. So let's see if we can't roll this in up here. So this is going to come down to here. So we go one, two, one, two. We've got this here. Let's now move it to the side, move it to one of our places. Can't move it here, so let's move it into here. So we'll just do any old exchange. Now in terms of exchanging back, I know I'm going to be moving this back in. Is there something over here I can roll into? Well, nothing specific, so it really doesn't matter. But the green one looks like it's right for the picking, so we'll go here, turn, here, and turn back. That places this in here, and now we're going to place this back. So one, two, one, two. So no worries. And if this bothers you, eh, move it back. So let's see what we got here. We've got two greens and two reds. These are kind of complementary to each other. And we've got these over here too. So why don't we see if we can maybe even work on both. If I move this down over here like this, and I turn this like so, this green can come here, this red can come here. So I'm actually going to solve two. Um, in one fell swoop. Let's do that. That's pretty good bang for a buck. Turn this over here. This is in and this is in. So now what are we going to do to, to move this back? Well, we only have this one to, to exchange with. So what we could do is we could start to borrow some of these uh, so that there isn't a problem. Um, why don't we do this? Why don't we put in, since we've got two blues over here, uh, one blue, if we have to move it back, we'll put one blue over here and another blue down here. That way they're exchanging. Um, How does that sound? Give that a try. So we'll do an exchange here. This will come here. What we're going to try to do is, well, yeah, move this, this purple one in here. Okay, so the end result of that is when I move that back, this will come to here, this will come to here. That's all fine and well, but we're going to ruin this. So why don't we just put another over here and move this one in. So let's do an exchange here where we go like boom, bang, boom, kerpow, double turn it back, move it in here, turn, turn, Turn and turn. All right, so this will work. The blues will be conserved. This yellow will be conserved as well. So double turn it, and there we go. So really, I'm just kind of manipulating things around as best I can, and if we get skittish about this, we can turn this back in. So what we have now is we just have uh, a couple more to do. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and we'll maintain it over here now. And I want to put the final green one in over here. So here's the green one here. We're just going to exchange it with this. Turn it like so. Turn, turn. Turn it back. Turn, turn. So this green one is ready to pounce on this. It's fine. This will be maintained. So these will be just fine. And we'll, put, we'll end up putting the green, the green one in. So turn. And we're good. And this is maintained. These two are maintained over here. So if we were to move this out, uh, we can maybe exchange it with these guys here. These two are going to be exchanged. So kind of imagine what I'm talking about. This will stay here. This goes where this green one is. And that's what I'm going to be maintaining. So turn, turn, double turn, 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 and double turn. So if I turn it like this, well, that's okay. So these are all fine. It's just these middles now need to be moved into position. Let's actually start putting some of our some of our centers back here. One, two, turn, one, two. And any way we can. This just kind of gets our perspective here. Two. 
turn. Not sure if that's exactly what I wanted to do, but in any case, one, two, turn, one, two, and turn. Okay. So all we have left is this to do and this to do. So how are we going to coordinate that? Now, there's a couple ways that I could try to do this, attempt to do this. One of which is uh, just treat it like a parody, here to here, and um, hold it in this position and just treat it like a, a, the same type of parody that we've seen before with these two. Doing the um, U R uh, the yeah the U R F. <laughs> algorithm. Um, what that's going to do with the first time is it's, it is going to switch these two. These will be fine, but then these are going to be switched. So we just have to get those back. And we're also going to create a parity over here. We don't worry about that now. So that's going to be 2U, 2R, 2F, and just one 2U, and then 2F, 2R, 2U, and this turns, so that does flip those, puts it over here, and we just do it again. 2U, 2R, 2F, and just 2U, and then 2F, 2R, 2U, and then this turns. So it does bring these back, and all these are fine. We created something of a parody in places we really don't even care about at, at, at this point. But in any case, that puts all of our centers, that puts all of our edges, that puts these in here. So all of these slices are filled, just like we did with the 4x4x5. Uh, the four by four by so now it's just a matter of putting these slices in over here, uh, dealing with parity as it occurs. So here's the blue and red. So let's look for the blue and red. Uh, we have one over here, so I'm going to turn this like so. So this will turn into over here. And I'm going to try to isolate these levels as much as I can. So we have 2R, U, 2R, UI, and 2R. So that's in. Don't worry about any issues with parity here. Hopefully we're going to fix all that in a second. Move this down here. Red and green. And we got a red and green over here, I think. And this is the proper configuration. 2R, U, 2R, UI, and 2R. So now that's back and everything that we got scarily out is back as well. What else we have? Okay, we've got two here, so whatever parity we get, we'll get out. Um, why don't we do this one because this is right in line over here. 2R, U, just on this layer here. 2R, UI, 2R. Go to the next one. Yeah, um, orange and blue, right over here. Orange and blue. 2R, U, 2R. UI and 2R. And lo and behold, our bottom sequence is done. I did something like this with the 3x3x7 tutorial. So all of these are at the proper level. This is at the same level. Now I'm isolating these out because if I did the use with both of these, then I'd end up having to do that with this as well. So here's our sandwich formation. So we're going to go ahead and um, get it in that way. Try to get sandwiches everywhere. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. This turns, and this turns. 2R, UI, 2R, U, and 2R. And this turns back. So what we have is we have middle swaps that we have to do just with these two. All right, now when we middle swap these, it's just one, so we're gonna end up with parity. Let's actually put these in the proper place here. So we're gonna end up with parity down here, but we're gonna know how to deal with that. 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, and this will be a 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, U, 2R, UI, and 2R. Okay. So this is in. Now if we just 
go over here, you can kind of see where the parity comes out and it's these guys over here. So to get this in the right, what I'm gonna do is we go just below the parity here as our U and then we do another U over here. So again, hold it here, do our U, R, F. So two U, two R, two F, then again, two U, then do the two U up here and then two F, to R, to you, and you have yourself a solved um, five by five by seven. I lost count there for a second. Five by five by seven. So my hope is that I was able to demonstrate with you just how fantastic this moves, how easy this, uh, how, how well designed, well put together this is. And um, really the solve is a lot more uh, higher degrees of complexity. Um, I went through it a little fast, once you guys pick up this puzzle and have any further questions regarding what to do, let me know and we'll go through it further. Um, I'll go through it a little slower or in more detail, but just as uh, more of a demonstration. So, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully this will be available for you guys soon. Thanks for watching.